You know when someone tells you that you shouldn't do something and even though you had no desire to do it before, now all you can think about is doing it? Totally happening right now. What's up guys? I know it's been a little while and I appreciate you sticking here on the channel and watching the videos. It's a super weird time right now with everything that's going on in the world and all of us are stuck at home and not able to buy toilet paper and fun things like that. But today, I'm gonna to start a new series because when we're stuck at home, what better to do than take some time to learn some new things to progress in our craft. So today, we're starting a new series. We're gonna go over some tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. And today, I'm gonna to show you what I'm calling the single clip multicam hack. So of course, multicam, as it says, typically meant when you have multiple cameras running simultaneously and then you want to kind of sync those up into a single clip with multiple angles. It's great for things like interviews and music videos and stuff like that. Today what we are going to use it for is taking one clip and make multiple shots from that one camera angle. You probably already know that it's fairly common anymore to shoot something in 4K resolution, but edit it on a 1080p timeline. That way it gives you that extra resolution to be able to crop in on that footage to essentially make it look like you have another camera angle. So we have our one angle here of this tutorial actually. We are gonna right click this one angle and we are gonna say new multicam clip. Now I'm gonna call it something super creative like multi-cam. How I came up with that, I do not know. Um, we can leave this checked. Typically when you have multiple angles, you can use this to automatically synchronize them by the audio. That we obviously don't need to worry about because we are working with one clip here. So we'll just say OK. You can see our multi-cam clip was created here in our project. We will drag that down into our timeline and you can simply double click and it will open up the multi-cam editor. Doesn't look a whole lot different right now because we only have the one shot. What we're going to do is in this drop down right here, we are going to say add angle. And I'm going to go ahead and do that again. We're going to make two different angles other than our main shot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and name these. Super simple, just one, two, and three. That way it'll give us a way to keep track of it. And we are going to grab this first clip. We're going to hold option and drag it down into these other two clips. So now we have three angles which are literally the same. Um, make sure when you copy those over to that they are lined up otherwise you're going to run into some crazy weirdness that you do not want. So what we're going to do, we'll leave this first one as is because we want that main angle. We're going to click the little screen here on angle two which means now we're viewing this angle and I'm gonna select this clip. We're gonna go up here and actually change the scale. I'm gonna say 130% and then we are gonna use the position to move this clip around a little bit. A couple of things, a good rule to go by is that you want to go at least 30% different between each clip to make it really look like it's a different angle and you're not just cropping in a little bit on your footage. So that's why I picked 130 for that one. And what I'm gonna do now is compare the first angle to the second angle. Another thing that I watch for is to try to make sure the eyes, which is where most people are looking, stay about in the same spot. That way, that way the person's focal point doesn't change when they're watching the video. Your eyes stay about in the same spot even though we're cropping in. So I'm gonna take this one and lower it down just a little bit more. Looks like we're pretty close there. I'll lower it down just a little bit more. Not too bad. So there we've got two angles. I'm going to go ahead and hit view this third angle. And we're going to take that and I'm just going to go another 30% up to 160. And again, reposition this so that it is close to being lined up with these others where the eyes are. So that looks pretty close to me, not too bad. I typically wouldn't go for a third angle on this shot. Um, I would usually shoot a little wider on this first shot if I was planning to do a multicam, that way you've got room to go here and here. 
when we're shooting at 4K, you actually have the option to go up to 200%, which is basically a quarter of the screen that you're looking at right now. You can see each of those sections. That's how much we would be able to crop in on this video. So now we're gonna hit this little arrow and go back out to our project. You can see it doesn't look any different. I'm gonna cut off some of the excess here real quick. And zoom in there. So we see it's only our main clip right now, only our main angle. So what you can do is go up here to view, angles, and that opens up our angle viewer right here. Now you can see all three of the angles we created. If you don't see all three angles that you've created, go here to the settings menu and you might need to select four angles. You might just be on two, which means it's only going to show you the first two you created. So we have a couple options now. This allows us to watch this video and basically edit or kind of produce it on the fly. So as we're watching, we can either use our mouse to click on one of these other angles or we can simply use numbers and I numbered these this way specifically because we can hit the numbers one, two, or three on our keyboard to automatically cut to one of those angles as it's playing. Now the good thing is none of that's final. You can come in and adjust it afterwards. Also, the little menu here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are on video only. You don't wanna cut your audio to a different track generally. Wouldn't matter to us on this one, but in general, that's the way you wanna go. So. If we play this back, I'm going to go to this clip, back to clip one, to clip two, back to clip one, and clip three. So pretty simple. You see that it made the edits here for me on the timeline. You can come down here and you can scrub these back and forth to move their placement if you want to. The great thing is what this offers us now compared to what it usually would be if you're actually cutting things, we can still change these angles to anything that we want. If we decide, I don't like that that's three, I want it to be two, make sure your cursor's at the beginning of it, change it to two. It's just that easy. Another thing that this offers us is that now you can double click and go back into the multicam. You can grab one of these angles and do a little bit of color grading, um, color correction, that kind of thing, whatever you wanna do. And when you come back out here, it's adjusted everywhere in the timeline that that angle appears. So that's a super cool way um, to use some non-destructive editing. This kind of edit has just made things so much faster for me when I'm doing interviews and things like that and just opens up some new options that you don't have otherwise. Now, if you have any questions about this, just let me know in the comments. I will definitely be happy to respond or maybe even release another video if we get enough questions about a certain thing. So if you stuck with me to the end, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this tutorial helped you and is gonna improve your workflow and make your editing a little bit faster. If you've got any questions for me or any other topics you want me to cover in Final Cut Pro, just comment down below. I'd be happy to cover some stuff that maybe I don't already have planned. I would be forever grateful if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll know when new videos come up and I will see you next time. Bye. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's too late. No, that was terrible. Why am I doing one of these so late? Oh, the AC just kicked on. Perfect. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Hopefully that's in focus. Are you in focus? I never realized how much this, when I shake my desk, I shake the computer. This is gonna be the earthquake tutorial. How to shake an iMac. Shake a Mac. Yep, good, okay. Peter McKinnon ending.